What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the best Telltale video games. Let's get right into this. So for me, I am the type of gamer that absolutely loves story. And with the Telltale games, the story is more important than the actual gameplay. It's basically just a click and decision making game. Very easy gameplay, but the stories for the Telltale games, in my opinion, are phenomenal, which is why I love them. And on top of that, you can get a platinum for almost any Telltale game because you just have to go through the story, finish the game, and you'll earn the platinum and all of the trophies along the way. Unfortunately, Telltale is no longer a company and they went bankrupt in 2018, but a lot of their games are still on various consoles. So the first game that I want to mention in this video is the entire series, and that is the Walking Dead series. That's what really got me into the whole Telltale games. The first game was released in 2012, and since I was such a huge fan of the Walking Dead back then, that's why I decided to try the first Walking Dead game, and I got right into the whole Walking Dead series for Telltales and started to play more of the Telltale games because of the first Walking Dead game. I absolutely loved it. In the Walking Dead series, there's four main season games, one DLC, which was for the first game, and a mini three-episode game following Michonne from the comics and TV show. The series follows Clementine, who is a young girl who grows up in the Walking Dead universe from the start of the zombie apocalypse. Now, the Telltale game, the story actually comes from the creator of the Walking Dead comics and TV show, Rob Kirkman. And the game also includes some characters from the comics, including people like Glenn and her. Now, unfortunately, the series had to come to an end, and actually, the last game, instead of it being finally released as Telltale, because Telltale went bankrupt at the time, the another company decided to pick it up and just release the final game just so people can have an end to the series, which I absolutely loved. I absolutely loved the Walking Dead show, and to get to see the game, how the game's story kind of correlates with it. It is very interesting of what they do and what is very similar to what they do in the shows and the comics. To me, they did a great job with the Telltale video games for Walking Dead. Next is the Batman Telltale series, which was released in 2016. In this game, you get to play and follow Batman as both superhero and Bruce Wayne. You can also choose to deal with certain situations as either Batman or or Bruce Wayne. If you choose one or the other, certain things may happen and different things may transpire due to your decisions and the decisions always matter and it's really interesting how your decisions affect the gameplay and your future decisions in the game. The game also has different appearances from characters from the Batman and DC universe, including Alfred, Harvey Dent, James Gordon, Catwoman, and the Penguin, and many, many more. This game was a lot of fun just to see the story of of Bruce Wayne, but also the story of Batman, everything that is happening in Gotham at the time. It was a very unique and creative story, and I absolutely loved it. The next game is Tales of the Borderlands, which came out in 2014. The story takes place after the events of Borderlands 2, and I'll be really honest, I have never gotten into any of the Borderlands games. For me, the Borderlands games are just not for me. I don't like the gameplay. I'm not a fan of the graphics. I don't like anything about the Borderlands series, any of the games. Now, I do have the handsome collection on the PS4 for Borderlands. However, the only reason that I have that game is because I believe sometime in 2019, it was one of the free PS Plus games for the PS4. So I did go and try to play one of the games and I only got within five missions, I believe, and I just gave up. I stopped playing it because I was not a fan of it. I don't like it. However, by me playing the Tales of the Borderlands game, the Telltale version, I got to play and enjoy the story of the Borderlands games without having to play any of the Borderlands games. So I absolutely love that because I always thought the story of Borderlands was very interesting and something that interested me. However, I did not like the gameplay, which is why I didn't want to play any of the games. So the fact that Telltales made a game sharing a lot of the story from the video games without the actual gameplay from the video games 
That's why I was a huge fan of it. I love the story, but I didn't like the real Borderlands games. And the last game that is on this list for the best Telltale games is Game of Thrones, which was released in 2014 as well. This game follows the TV series, and it takes place from the end of Season 3 to the start of Season 5. Now, for me, I honestly never watched any of the Game of Thrones shows. I've never gotten into the series, but because I played the game... I definitely plan on going back and watching the show from beginning to end because last year the show did end and they had their final season, but I've never watched any of the shows. So I want to go back and start from the beginning and watch it all the way to the end just because I played the game and I loved the story in the game. In the game, you play as four Forrester family members and the Squire, who is the Squire for Lord Forrester. So this game has very interesting story. And for me, I don't know anything about the Game of Thrones show. I've never watched any of it. So just to play a little bit of Season 4 from the show in Telltale's game, the story I thought is very interesting, and it's going to definitely help me understand a little bit more whenever I go back and start watching the show very soon. I think it's going to be a very interesting show, and the only reason why I'm going back and watching the show and trying to get into the show and seeing what the whole hype was about is because I played the Telltale game, so I got a fair amount of different stories from Season 4, in the Telltale game, which I absolutely love. So these, in my opinion, are the best Telltale games that I have played. Now there's a few others that I have not played. For example, Guardians of the Galaxy, I have not played yet because I can't really find it on the PlayStation Store. It's definitely something I'm gonna have to try to find a used copy for in stores or yard sales or different things like that. So it's definitely one that's on my list because I love everything Marvel, as I mentioned before, and I absolutely love the Gardens of the Galaxy, and I think it's gonna be a great game. I just didn't want to mention it in this video because I have not actually played it for myself. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave this video here. Please take care. Comment down below any other Telltale games that I forgot to mention or maybe ones that I just did not play, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.